assist persons with disabilities in their houses who have trouble getting around, helping themselves, give us a call and let us know where we can go. Because one of the reasons why the person was calling, called me yesterday was because this was one of the services they were trying to call human services to find out about. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, um, I would want to believe that human services would keep a little log, a little reference sheet, and f even on their website for something like that, because you're not endorsing these folks, but you're letting people know these are folks out here who are saying that these are services that they provide. Now, if you if you have a problem with the service, you can report them anywhere from back to human services as well as to licensing and consumer and whatever. But I'm thinking on the positive side, which is the first thing is to make people know <laughs> what is available. What's so funny, huh? <laughs> I just got a text from my sister. Oh, you just got a text. Okay. Yeah. They're, they're keeping you in check already. No, no, no. <laughs> No, 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 no. I, I, I know you're a galaxy you now. Yeah, who? I know you're a galaxy. I see my brother around you. <laughs> yeah, look up to me, you know. Okay. All right, you tell me whatever you want to tell me, brother. Okay? I, I, I know this makes it okay. Okay? So you tell me whatever you want to tell me. Okay? Right. When the time comes, when the time comes, and, uh, <coughs> Somebody said, let me see your back. I know you're going to hesitate to pull up that t-shirt and let them see the wealth that you got, okay? <laughs> you're funny. <laughs> All right. Well, somebody's got to be. You're hilarious. Somebody's got to you, be. You know I know the do cane fool, right? <laughs> somebody's got to be, Jared. It's all good. It's all good. Um, you know, uh, we didn't, we didn't, uh, you, you're going to make me get that from from Sarge again. I, I got to do this song, Jerry. I don't do this song too. I might get fired. I want oh. to get that. I don't want to get fired. They tell me. They tell me they're watching on YouTube. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you, you tell me you started YouTube, please. Yeah, I, I did. I did start it. Um, but we talking and I walking at the same time. Can we a little bit behind the the power curve here? Um, <coughs> terms of where I want it to be. It is now 25 minutes before the hour of 9 o'clock. And we're talking about whatever you want to talk about. Well, of course, in the meantime, we're going to talk about whatever we talk about, too. All right? That's going to behave. And um, so far this morning, one of the common themes is that things are too quiet out there. People want to know what's going on in, in the community in terms of service delivery for the various or they have enough projects going on that somebody needs to be talking to people. You know, the Virgin Islands is different. The Virgin Islands is different. There is a demand for personal interaction in the Virgin Islands. You go to Georgia, you go to D.C., you go to D.C. People have become accustomed to somebody talking to them from afar. And I don't mean the radio. I mean, maybe a piece of paper, maybe they go online, maybe there's a forum, uh, on, on some written forum or something like that. That's what they are like in that sense. It ain't like that here. Okay? In the same way that people were still holding on to using the DVDs to watch movies, Gerard. This is a different place. No, I'm saying we have, we have evolved a little bit since then. But this is mm -hmm. a different place. People appreciate the fact that they senator come through, they commissioner come through, they they governor, come, they appreciate that. And I, I say for those out there, if you're really really interested, there's a lot of mileage in terms of getting things done because when people start calling other people on your behalf and saying, "Hey, I need you to assist this person with getting this done," whatever, you have a much higher chance of something getting done. So, in 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 that context, anyhow. So I, I got, I, I made a note here of um, human services, okay? So we need to get together and do 
our letters and whatever else so we could make sure that um, <coughs> that we get some some communication okay uh, hopefully in the form of bodies in the studio and if they need to come in virtually we'll do it virtually because the bottom line is we want we want them to update the people okay um, management and of course DPNR all right so yeah man we sh we stream in strong strong the, the um oh the mics are off so that we make sure we don't have any feedback should be sounding all right in that regards okay and folks it's on YouTube you could go to uh, Douglas Canton channel and you see that the, the live is there um, okay and as well as um, uh, yeah Facebook here from WSTX at some point in time I, I plan to get my feed so that it goes to both Facebook and YouTube the, the thing about Facebook is there are a lot of people who are on Facebook who has left Mm -hmm. and there are a lot of people who never went <coughs> they're still interested in knowing what's going on and hearing the discussion but if if facebook is the way you're going to get to them <laughs> then you ain't talking to them which means that somebody else is okay <coughs> all right good thing good thing good thing let, let me well, let so me some people hell bent on using facebook for some reason yeah let me see well uh, it's a sizable it's a sizable but you know it changed from generationally it's changed Facebook started out being a young people thing okay and now it's a broader people thing no it's everybody thing. <laughs> it's a everybody but a lot of the younger folks have left and gone about their business yeah, they, and, they, and everywhere yeah, else yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. saying Take the demographics the demographics in terms of generations has has changed somewhat okay so yeah, yeah TikTok what's up what's now Amen. Amen. We back again. Yes. So I don't get that. We got another little quick for you. Mm -hmm. You thought it was good the first time? Man, we had so much fun, we could do it again. Hello, my people. How you doing today? It's been a long time coming. What I have to say? Look at our culture. Things are not the same. Let's not sit down and do nothing while it go down the drain. Please help me. Let's jump on the masqueraders The musician and mask makers All the way hey. Look around the arts are dying We must prevent this from happening Stay with your culture forever Monuments of a 
our local heroes recognize their contributions to their heritage. The Hamilton Jackson, Elmo Basket, Jack James, Ralph Nishabe, Henry Rosen, Alexander Moher, continue. David Kanigeta Senior, Aris Lott and Joe Christopher, folks the time is always right for a good thing one in the morning seven high noon my son don't do yourself a disservice and tell you that you can only have a good thing at a certain time of day anytime it's time for a good thing okay and um <coughs> you know i had a, a family member a tour robot who passed recently and um family is down here and of course taking care of everything and uh, we had a, a little session meeting reunion whatever <laughs> uh, in a place that people afraid to walk to at night the graveyard I'm just saying it, it was like a little family reunion whatever you know making sure everything was right and everything right it was it, it was good uh mary have a kid you know area um among us anyhow it, it was good it was good but while while we're there in the graveyard <coughs> uh, see this dog there on top one of the tomb then hi tomb you know he jumped up on top of the tomb and he did a relaxing surveying like he's supervising and checking out everything that's going on mm -hmm. i took a little i took a little footage of it you know because uh, i'm saying it, it, it just he's at home <laughs> he was at home for all you know his master was right there underneath him you know mm -hmm. and that kind of thing it was it was just something to to look at in that context you know but uh we were talking about family reunions and family connections and everything because you know we had our canton family reunion we had a robot family reunion at least two of them as far back as i can remember i still got my shot on the first one and um the 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 challenge sometimes is moving to the next generation you know the next generation anyhow you know you're there in the camera you know somebody gonna say we're there doing good. <laughs> <laughs> anyhow Anyhow, but uh, help my sinus. I, I understand. I understand, no, brother. I, I understand, brother. You. Okay, but um, <clears throat> I, I'm gonna just tell you, folks. If the police come for him, I'm gonna be there to testify that he's an upstanding person in the community, right? Because <laughs> oil, you can find it in the Caribbean store. Yes. Anyhow, good stuff. Good stuff. But yeah, you know, passing the baton is something that we have to be uh, more vigilant about because. In, in many ways, we have made it very convenient for our children to just show up 
and you know to be introduced and meet all his family members and so forth. We made it kind of convenient. And as we move on, you know, they look at him and saying, "Well, okay, um, how come this ain't happening? How come that ain't?" Because he ain't thinking. It's like it's your turn to take it and run with it. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, no, it's, it's it's all good in a sense because we we have to have that con um, conversation, and we have to give the encouragement, you know, and then we have to give the encouragement because that goes a, a, a long, long ways, and and the support along the way because it, it's like anything else. Um, one of the things I, I give out as a, as advice to to that next generation plan a party plan fun don't 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 plan what you know and those who does deliver let them deliver don't who don't deliver then you know they they live by their reputation uh in 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 the, in the end you know and you learn people you learn who don't do and who don't do and you make it happen but i i take for for example if you plan a week Okay, the first day and the last day is travel days. So ain't nothing going on on them days. Unless you're having prep, uh, early breakfast or something or, uh, and, a, and a welcoming dinner. And the f welcoming dinner and the, f and the first day when they come in and a early breakfast on the day when they're going out. But still, it's leisure. And who want to do it, do it. And who don't want to, that's fine. Now, leave you with five days out of that week. And you plan three days of activities and two days of personal time. You know? So with three days of activity, you got enough room for your beach party, you know. You got you got enough room for that um, special dinner or whatever, whatever you want to call it, party, barbecue, that type of thing. Uh, and then you got time for something else, like you know, tours around the 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 place and everything, so that folks who've been away for ages or for some, it's the first time coming here to learn about this this island in terms of their their history and family and everything else give them a chance to to get around and check out things yeah so folks encourage encourage your children to embark on these things now jerry you know <coughs> you, you ever you ever met people in our family that don't talk to each other mm -hmm. yeah okay so we, we know that are going right mm -hmm. okay and the thing is is knowing when to stop it <laughs> when to behave yourself and, and realize that when they gone they gone you know so you gotta figure out a way how you're going to come together and agree to disagree and dislike or whatever the case may be but for the for the bigger for the bigger thing it makes a difference as families spread more and more all over the world you never know who's going to be in a position in terms of a corporation in terms of an industry or whatever who happen to be family and <coughs> can open doors <coughs> and so in in that context we we have to cultivate this thing of looking beyond looking beyond these little personal things every now and then you go to a bar jerry and you got folks coming in from all over the world and they sitting having a drink and they talking next thing you know they're exchanging contact information and what they do and so forth it's called networking it's called networking and the sad thing about it is is they have those people who sit back and watch it going on and then complain about the, these people moving forward <laughs> you know <laughs> they network right the person that complains they not work well they not work right <laughs> okay good good way to put it uh networking networking is important <coughs> you know the one the one thing about um <coughs> networking that you hear about is who know who you know of course. well if you don't know nobody you're not at an advantage to know somebody so get to know somebody <coughs> Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, get a car from the control, you know. Uh, I don't, I don't want one F. Louis roll, you know. That ambulance here coming quick, quick. They hear Jared coughing, okay? So, <laughs> all right, good I, thing. I'm trying to get it on the control, but you've you been fighting. You've been fighting you for a while. Yeah. yeah okay. Well, you I'll hurry take, up and okay. I take everything I need, so. 
All right. Well, let's talk a little bit about what's going on in the community. All right. And um, first of all, you know, we had a, um, <laughs> we got a, a parade coming up this Saturday. You heard about that? You want for the, the women's thing? Oh, thing? oh, man, I'm proud of you. You're on top of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. 10 a.m. sharp on King Street in Christian Stead. <laughs> Brother, <coughs> you don't read, you don't watch TV, you don't iron your own clothes, I, you don't do all of these things, brother. Okay? So, you ain't got, you ain't got, remind me. <laughs> all right. Yeah. So, our basketball team, our ladies' basketball team was out there tearing up. And so they're having a, a recognition gold medal parade here in Christiansted, 10 a.m. shop on King Street. Um, yes, this Saturday. Yep. Celebrating the athletes who brought home the gold from Central American and Caribbean Games. And we're expecting the entire 11-member Virgin Islands Senior Women National Basketball Team, along with their coaches, to be there in attendance. Yep. Come on out and give them your support, folks. That's what you do. Okay? So. Also, we have uh, going on, come home to St. Croix, going on at the Landmark Society, the WIM, uh, the WIM Museum Grounds. <coughs> and they have here on their schedule, Thursday, August 3rd, Mm -hmm. Yep, they got the research library and museum open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Okay, and they got the cook house serving lunch. All right, and that cook house, of course, you know, Jerry is at good old fashioned Kujan food. Mm -hmm. Definitely. So I gonna tell you if you want some of it, even if you ain't gonna do some research, make sure you come early kind go quick. <laughs> it does go quick. So that's what's going on today from ten to three at the um, the Williamsium Landmark Society grounds. Okay. Then on Saturday they have several things going on. It's under the umbrella of old time family day. They're going to have culture and history workshops at 10 a.m. And starting at 10 a.m., at 11 a.m., they're going to have old-time games. So, uh, challenge you to a game of marble. What you say, Jerry? You think you're up to it? What's that? I challenge you to a game of marble. Want to play, play, play some tree hole? <laughs> you win marble to lose? Hey. I lose one. I gonna win, man. I, I I got some good tire. I gonna get out there and use my tire, and you know, and, and and next thing you know, I gonna own all your marbles. You stay there with that, okay? Anyhow, okay. All right, I'm gonna go in the in the in the woods and find me some locusts, and let we let we get some string up some cock, and let we see who who got the the best one out there, okay? All right. But anyhow, going right on ahead with what's going on on Old Time Family Day, they also have the um, Crucian Food Waste discussion and presentation, and they're going to have a red grout demonstration, folks. Mm -hmm. Then at 1 o'clock, they're going to have a Johnny Cakes demonstration. Of course, every Johnny Cake that can be de demonstrated will be eaten. <laughs> you know that, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. And the cookhouse is serving boiled fish and fungi. Chad, when you see Alan Carr down there, you know the, the boiled fish and fungi working, right? <laughs> oh, Lord, yeah, so. You know that's what it is. You know that's what it is? Okay. You, you don't like boiled fish and fungi? Eh? Tell me now. You, you got something against boiled fish and fungi? I mean, it's more for me if that's the case, but... <coughs> Okay. I prefer flying fish. Okay. And fungi. Okay. Whether it, whether it boil or fry, it make a difference to you? I prefer flying fish. I ask you a I question. 
I'm not asking the type of fish. Fry, fly fish. Fry. Okay. Thank you for answering the question. Okay. I telling you, you the you the worst person for anybody to put on the stand. You don't follow directions at all. Okay. I will fry. Tie, I will tie up the prosecutor. Mm. Hey. <laughs> Judge, uh, Trump gonna do it too, you know, <laughs> but I don't think he's gonna do any good. So instead of tying up the prosecutor, yeah, Trump, all right. No. Anyhow, um, Trump, Trump, Trump will try. Right? He'll try. But the amount of thing what they, they got on him, he gonna fail. All right. Good thing. So on the community calendar, those are uh, some of the things that are upfront and happening this week. Of course, next month we got some interesting things going on. Of course, with everybody back in school now, uh, a lot of the activities that were out there, youth oriented, is kind of scaled back now. But in September, the Ivan Ashley Galabair Foundation, the YAG Foundation, has got their YAG Breast Cancer Awareness Foundation and the Caribbean Museum Center for the Art presenting. Sandals, sunglasses, and sunset. Okay? And, um, yeah. That's going to be going on there. So, mark your calendar, folks. Mark your calendar because September 30th. Okay? Good thing. Let's see what else we got going on. I'm, I'm really looking forward to, to seeing what they're going to do in terms of the... Uh, the various organizations in terms of uh, fighting cancer. Now that's another another thing that we uh, really need to update on in terms of the, the workings of the cancer registry and so people could understand what we're doing along those lines. One of the challenges with cancer uh, is you gotta, if you are first diagnosed off island, our first diagnosis goes into a database and a reporting system and then it is counted as a statistic from that area so if we aren't catching it first and logging it into a system then the funding the funding programs that tend to look at those type of statistics in terms of where to send the money are not working for us so it's important that uh, we have those type of um, reporting and statistics being kept to make sure that we can be on the positive end of the, the, the financial support in the fight against cancer. And uh, as we go all the way up, up into October, I just want to just mention that um, the folks for the, the cyclists are going to be having a cross island challenge. Uh, of course, that's all the way down in August. I mean, in October 6th through the 8th, they're going to be having this whole uh, set of races going on. And uh, I'm just throwing that out, folks. You, whoever wants to mark the calendar from now, that that's fine. Mm -hmm. But there are things going, going on as we look out into the future. There are things that are going on. Okay? Where is the calendar for October 15th? Huh? We have uh, we're, coming, we're coming to that next. We're coming to that next <coughs> because we're working on we're working on a, a promotion. We're working on a promotion because recently we've been doing some filming, trying to create some educational educational outreach. You know, uh, earlier this year, I believe it was, we had a person die in front of 2 plus 2, trying to cross the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, okay. First of all, the place is too small to be in that kind of a hurry. Second of all, they have a crosswalk for a reason. Not to see how fast you could get across it. Okay? It's not like, it's not like bowling. Alright? And you try to get through there to take somebody out. The crosswalks are there for a reason to facilitate the movement of pedestrians. And all of us are in that big P mode at some point on, on time. Okay. But in addition in addition to the, the crosswalks as we know it folks, uh there folks who can cross the road and according to our law you have to stop for them if there's no crosswalk. Okay. You can't turn around and say, Well they cross the road is a crosswalk da, 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 da. you gotta take what happened to them with ah it don't work like that. It don't work like that. In particular I'm speaking about the, the White King law. 
So if you see someone on the road with a white cane and they're trying to cross the road, it is your duty under the law to stop. Let them cross and even if necessary, get out and help them. And I say that they might be crossing, hit a pothole and fall along in the road. What are you going to do? Okay, you know, I see laughing, job, but I'm serious. <laughs> no, I laugh because, <laughs> because I remember walking on the road and I hit a pothole and twist my ankle. Uh-huh. Okay, well, thank God that's all you twisted, okay? Your brain is still intact, okay? Yeah. Right. Good thing, good thing. All right, folks, it's the top of the hour plus four or three. Uh, we're going to be taking a break here in a minute for our sponsors and advertisers who I personally would like to thank for them supporting the uh, Caledonia Communications community-oriented, community-minded, outreach-prone broadcasting system that they have here. All right. So, with no further ado, we'll be back in another moment or two. More continuous music variety. AM 970. The purpose of Caledonia Wellness is to improve your emotional and physical wellness using natural products. If you have challenges with sleep, anxiety, acute or chronic pain, including arthritis or painful intercourse, menopause or stress, or if you want to improve your wellness through aromatherapy, candles, gummies, tinctures and teas, we should have something for you. Please let us know if you are experiencing a challenge for which we don't have products. We will research it and see if we can get something in. Caledonia Wellness is located in the Upper Apothecary Courtyard at Queen and Queen Cross Street in Christiansted. We are open Thursday and Friday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., and any other time via phone call at 340-332-1900. That's 340-332-1900. Life can sometimes feel overwhelming, but you don't have to face it alone. If you or someone you care about is struggling with thoughts of suicide, don't hesitate to pick up the phone and dial or text 988. The 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline is here for you, providing a compassionate and understanding ear to listen without judgment. Your call is confidential and help is available 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Remember, you are valued and your life is precious. Let us be your shoulder to lean on. You are not alone in this battle, and there is hope for a brighter tomorrow. This message is brought to you by the Department of Health and the 988 Suicide and Crisis Lifeline, dedicated to supporting those in distress. Spread the word and help us build a community where everyone feels supported and safe. AM 970, WSTX, Christianstead, Frederickstead, and the Virgin Islands. More continuous music variety. AM 970, WSTX. The purpose of Caledonia Wellness is to improve your emotional and physical wellness using natural products. If you have challenges with sleep, anxiety, acute or chronic pain, including arthritis or painful intercourse, menopause, or stress, or if you want to improve your wellness through aromatherapy, candles, gummies, tinctures, and teas, we should have something for you. Please let us know if you are experiencing a challenge for which we don't have products. We will research it and see if we can get something in. Caledonia Wellness is located in the Upper Apothecary Courtyard at Queen and Queen Cross Street in Christiansted. We are open Thursday and Friday, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturday, 11 a.m. to 4 p.m., and any other time via phone call at 340-332-1900. That's 340-332-1900. More continuous music variety. AM 970.
are bad. It's 9.07. You know what that means? You Stop. got 53 minutes hey. more to that's deal with the dynamic duo of Doug and Jerry. That's for sure. 53 more, that's for sure. Anyhow, so white candy, white candy. But <sighs> No, it ain't, it ain't, it ain't a, a, a thing where everybody go out and get a, 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 a long stick and paint it white and get out there. What's, what's white uh, cane, though? I just want to ask you, what's a white cane, though? I, 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 I don't know. Somebody tell me you 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 the resident expert in these things. That's why I asked you. The resident you. expert? Yes. I didn't know, I didn't know that. <laughs> I, will ask, uh, I, I will ask question. Uh, you the resident expert, brother man. Okay. A white cane. A white cane is a, a mobility device that assists the visually impaired to be mobile or to walk around um, using this device to be safe. As this device will detect anything in front of that visually impaired individual before they hurt themselves. You know, sometimes I don't like to let you explain things, you know. What? I don't, you don't come out with this highfalutin language. <laughs> Broken down, brother man. The white cane is a cane that's designed to help you navigate and move safely. Okay? That's uh, what I said. No, you said you, you gave the scientific, you know, the erotic thing. Okay? Anyhow. Anyhow. Tell them about the, the special cane you have. Special cane? Mm -hmm. What is? I ain't talking about the one, the, 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 the steel one at, at home. I'm talking about the one you don't use. Because, you know, technology is always on the move and impacting life in so many different ways, right? So, I want you to talk about the, the cane that you have, okay? And um, what you do is I want you to take that cane out because you're there in the camera so that people could see it and you could explain so when they see you with this thing, they don't think that you got a Star Wars toy that you just don't want to leave home. Somebody said it was a vacuum cleaner one day. <laughs> Pull it out and then we we'll talk about it. I was like, please. I almost hit him with it. Yes. Pull it out and then we we'll talk about it. Okay? Let me pull it out. No, you you gotta tell me where the camera is because I can't I can't. You're, 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 you're that good. You're that good. You're I that good. You could come down a little bit more. You, you come down a little bit more. Yeah, that's I went by it. I usually be by you like that, right? Yeah, okay. Me, you know. I okay, mean, so you know I, mean? I tell you. You'll be spying on me and me, you know. Good man, you're good. I watch you. So, anyway, what, ladies and gentlemen, what Mr. Canton is talking about is I have what you call a smart cane. Mm -hmm. It's a. Uh, is made by a company called WeWalk and it has a proximity sensor which is a sensor that detects things within your proximity if someone it goes from three feet to six feet to eight feet so what this is is uh, if there is a low-hanging branch or a wall or anything in your way and you're coming up against it it's gonna start to vibrate in your hand. If you're standing someplace and you have the cane upright next to you, facing out, someone starts to approach you, it's gonna vibrate to let you know somebody's approaching. It also has a built-in GPS. So when I'm in the States, it works perfect. Um, and then Roy, it's kinda iffy, but um, in the States, the GPS works perfect. It attached to an app called WeWalk, the WeWalk app on my cell phone. And with that, I can set places like the restaurants, um, restaurants, department stores, different places I want to go. And I could, when I'm going there, I could either set it to the bus transportation, or ride transportation, even um, Lyft or um, Uber, all that stuff. And I can get there using, you know, the app on my phone, of course, with Lyft, you know, and uh, or I can walk there. So it's, it's pretty technical. And uh, on the front of it here, there's uh, what you call a trackpad. So it's almost like something like a, 
what you have on a on a laptop and I can manipulate the phone from right here searching for places to go to different things so what is what I'm doing that is talking to me to my earpiece in my ear so that I can navigate without having to take my phone out from wherever I have it well there you have it folks and so far only on WSTX where we're gonna walk and get in the world out all right so when you see this guy moving down the road and he got this keen that got this special different head on it hey just know it ain't for style and it's not a vacuum cleaner <laughs> like somebody once told me it is not for style okay and they were just they were, they were just messing with you probably anyhow but it's not it's, it's not for style and and again we emphasize what's happening with technology these days because here you think that because the man blind you could just come up on it like that no sir okay now technology don't tell hey somebody come in of course from the time you open up your mouth if he's some if if you're somebody that he knows like that he calling you by name <laughs> <laughs> all right so yeah, it, yeah. it's so funny sometimes we we walk in down the road and you know somebody see him that that know him you know and they, they come up and they test him and and he turns right to them and say yeah may i help you <laughs> you know <laughs> so in 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 many ways in many ways he can see better than me and you um yeah. but yeah. not in a faking way <laughs> yeah, yeah you hear this one now you gotta text it that's why people think you could see <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Well, we 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 are glad you can see, because right, your eyes save my life, uh, and so I definitely have to give my my kudos and thanks to technology as well as the the powers of the human body and ad adaptation. Okay, because some folks, you know, and Jared, you've run into people like like this before who tell you that. They, they if they went blind they have to commit suicide yeah okay yeah. because in their mind they cannot you know see themselves ever come into grips with having to deal with a situation like that okay uh in in their mind the only person who could survive that is somebody who was born that way and we know you're living proof okay well it takes um, a strong mind okay. to to overcome that drastic change in life you know I, I I know a young mm -hmm. lady. I know a young lady. You have to get to to know her in a not too distant future, also, right? And the Virgin Islands um, is is visually impaired, as we say, you know. Um, but she takes care of her ailing mother, you know, uh, caregiving services and everything. So I, I'm just saying that you, you never underestimate the the power of the human spirit and adaptability in terms of the challenges that people may face in life and how they overcome them. All right? Well, remember our good friend Carmen. She used to take care of her parents. Yes. And she was the one going through the Envision Tomorrow thing and so trying to get their house together, you know, and she even died and they ain't come and fix the people's house up to now. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, well, God rest her soul. The other yeah. young lady, I, I, I ain't going to call her name because I'm looking forward to the day when we have her on the show and we could have a, a conversation with her on the show. Um, that's another thing we have to, to work on because they have a voice and they have feelings and they have thoughts and they have opinions and, and yeah, very strong ones at times, but it, it, the question is who's listening and who's creating a vehicle by which they can communicate and WSDX is definitely interested in being at the forefront of that type of communication in our community. All right. Good thing, good thing. All right. So the other day I was I was um, talking with someone and it, it, I say it's time for us to, to play this song. I haven't played it for a while, all right? And um, we have the the um, CD 
Miles when David did the CD called Baby Imagine. Mm -hmm. It's got a nice combination of songs on it. But one of the songs on there, En La VI, I really like that song because it brings together uh, different genres of music or, um, you know, the, the, the lyrics. The lyrics are, are, are great. I, uh, <laughs> in particular, when you see them jump from, you know, Latin music to rap and incorporating the, the cultural magnets of the, of the Virgin Islands culturally, and it, it's just, when, when you see something like that and you say like, wow, the creativity take mm -hmm. these things that people think of being different and distinct and bring them together in us and, and not bring them together so they just kind of under under the radar it's just like when they jump out they're like boom here it is mm -hmm. just like your, your, your girl blackness with her, her song mm -hmm. um, the uh, no place like the Caribbean mm -hmm. when she moved from the Calypso and she moved into that quell baby you know mm -hmm. that a song like that and, and it, it all just work it all just oh, yeah, yeah. you could be listening to that music and just so they make the change mm -hmm. just so you make the change just like <laughs> when you're doing electric slide and the music off and the slower cadence to the faster cadence yeah, yeah. you know it's, it, you just do it you know um, so it's just one of those things where I, I have an appreciation so folks if you see me anxious to share it with you yes I am anxious to share it with you and love VI I like one phrase you we were lying in the other day down on the boardwalk. Okay, give you the back the back story here. We were lying in on the boardwalk. We went <coughs> I call it lying because that's what we do when we when we do work that we like to do. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So we were out there doing our work and, and enjoying our work in the process. And we meet we, we met this young lady who is a, a visitor. She has family here, a growing family here. Mm -hmm. And she came to check out the scene and see well maybe I might want to stay here with my family, you know, or, or close to my family in that sense. But anyhow, we were talking about various things, places to go, places to see, and so forth. And uh, we talked about driving on the left-hand side of the road as opposed to in the States on the right-hand side. And so I pull out this phrase, this phrase from this song, keep left, live right. <laughs> <laughs> you got a better chance of living if you keep left. <laughs> but keep left and definitely live right. Okay? Yeah. Our good friend June. That was um mm -hmm. that, that that was an interesting uh, interesting day there. And we had we had Sonny Barnes and Tongue. Yeah. We had Sonny Barnes and Tongue. Sonny Barnes was zipping up and down the place. He, Behaving like since he retired, he only knew who Frederick said there. I said, No, sir, Christian said, Sir, there. Come on down, let me, let me. But he said, Mr. Vasalis. You know? By, by the time we had done, <laughs> I surprised Sonny and bust down in tears that he had to leave. <laughs> <laughs> Sonny, we're talking about you. I hope you're listening. But anyhow. Well, remember, it, you said we are fixing phones. He could hear we. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, what we. What we need to do is is talk with our good friend down there, Sally Lacroix, because yeah. that's the guy who I guess hooked you up before. Yeah, it's up to Sonny. It's whenever he can get in. Well, yeah, and, and that well, and that thing always up to him. <laughs> we might we might have to just set up a a a, a Vichan Plus thing or something, or if he get his vehicle up. But let's let's make it a priority to to make that happen. Keep him connected. But it, it was a it was a great great kind of reunion having fun okay not not um protesting in front of any buses but <laughs> <laughs> we were having a good time anyhow folks then, then you you know before you go there you know what we went on the bus right you know that bus that bus driver or what this you know you know when we got on the bus you know who been on the bus you remember that young lady that was here in the studio with us yes in Southwell, mm -hmm. she was on the bus. Huh? Oh, okay. And he, that bus driver, ain't say nothing. He ain't say a thing. He ain't say a thing. He ain't say a thing. What listen? Hey, you know what I'm saying? 
Okay, so anyhow, it's all good. It's all good. Folks, that's 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 part of the love between <laughs> the the, the and plus family drivers and all, okay? So, so don't take it in a negative sense, all right? So anyhow, folks, keep left and live right. <laughs> celebrar la belleza de este paraíso y si yo pudiera ganar tu corazón yo lo ganaría con una sonrisa y es que lo que quiero que use la ocasión ven a disfrutar en la vía vamos a reír vamos a bailar ven conmigo en la vía, en la vía, en la vía, en la vía, tú la pasas bonito en la vía, 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 el vuelve se da rico en la vía. Verdes valles y su lindo mar, belleza que no se puede ir de igualar. Y no te sorprendas si tú al pasar, gente te salude bien cordial. Y es que lo que quiero que use la ocasión, ven a disfrutar en la vía. Vamos a reír, vamos a cantar. Ven conmigo a la vía, en la vía, en la vía, en la vía, tú la pasas bonito en la vía, 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 el vuelve se da rico en la vía, 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 tú la pasas bonito en la vía. En la vía, en la vía, en la vía, en la vía, el vuelve se da rico en la vía. Vamos a reír, vamos a cantar, ven conmigo. Su música espectacular, esa bella chica te viene a saludar. El calor y el bungi, tú tienes que probar. Es que así somos aquí en la VI. Keep left, to live right, keep left, to live right. Vía, en la VI, en la VI, tú la patas bonito en la VI. En la VI, en la VI, en la VI, en la VI, vuelves la música en la VI. Keep left and you live right. <laughs> Definitely for sure. Definitely for sure. Now, if somebody wanna come over from the other side into your left lane, you no, know, I, I can't. You know, I, I can't say that that'll never happen. Okay, we got problems with that because some folks are there driving when they need to be in their bed sleeping. 
okay or otherwise don't want to have their designated driver um and jerry in the states this couple had just gotten married and they had arranged for them to be driven in a golf cart mm -hmm. after the after their wedding mm -hmm. and this young lady came up speeding in a car hit that golf cart send the two of them flying the young lady died the young man was in the hospital for the longest while driving under the influence okay oh. i mean it's 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 like some folks just don't get it now we talk about that right the other thing is I am just sick and tired, sick and tired, sick and tired. I just got to vent and let people know. I'm sick and tired of hearing these things about children dying in a car. <laughs> How you to forget a child in a car? I don't want to know. I don't ever want to learn that lesson. Okay? How you to leave a child in the car and forget the car? Okay? I mean, folks, all you got to do is go to Google and and, and just type in hot car debt and all of these instances will come up and it's like when people going to learn anyhow anyhow got that off my chest for the moment hopefully it'll, it'll, it'll make a difference more than just my venting my venting on it okay but I want I want to hit a, a old a oldie goldie one of the one of these songs that uh, you really get up and want to move and if you ain't been doing it for a while you know me i'm in a good relationship with some ben gay afterward <laughs> okay so yeah i want to play this one for you all here folks ben gay, um, i don't know ben gay and some flexor you, you know you never know anyhow so here we go the Bengay if you ain't been doing it for a while you know you got to do it regular <laughs> okay <laughs> and it don't matter what time of day any time is always the right time for a good thing do it more regular anyhow good thing me going away anyway uh, me, where uh, I went me seven, going away seven, I've been seven, right here Seven seven three zero three <laughs> nine zero seven seven three zero four nine zero. Uh, the number to call if you want to get in on the conversation, brother man. Yes, you have to exercise. Do it regular. 
so you don't have to use Bengay anyhow. Uh, how they say me going the way that's all they say. Right. You're a proper walk about anyhow, so you don't get your exercise. So I don't I don't figure that out. Anymore. I need to walk some more, but I, got, I, I, want, I want to get some strict nine. Yeah, well, that that's something where we can we can touch bases on, but coming to that, you know, there's certain things in in our community that uh, just plain need to change. Okay, uh, you know, when a building is 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 operating and it's designed to be air conditioned, yeah, you know, and the air conditioning. Uh, in addition to air conditioning, you need filtration systems, maybe additional filtration systems, especially a place, let's say, that got in a lot of books and papers. You know, dust, you need a filtration system. And um, when you're walking in a building like that, you don't close up the building and leave it there for months and months close up. If, if the building is not operational as far as people being in it you still gotta run the air conditioning you still gotta run the 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 dehumidifiers and the the uh air purifiers and all this you still gotta run it right well a little a little a little mischievous body <laughs> a little mischievous body let me to know it got a certain building that been closed up apparently they were doing work on the outside making it look pretty and now you got issues that the employees don't want to go back in that building because of mold. All right? No. I mean, my thing is like if you got issue with mold and, and the employer ain't doing what they're supposed to do, hey, get OSHA and then people involved. Because the bottom line is if you de develop health problems because somebody insists you must go in this building, when their office is air conditioned, clean and well maintained the rest of the time and they don't really come to your building, they do in their building that everything is hunky dory. You know, then you got you gotta protest. You gotta do what you gotta do to take care of your health. Okay, because in, in that in that case the fact that the building was closed up the way it did, whatever money they save from running the air conditioner and other other things to keep the, the, the place right. Whatever money they save, they coming back and spending five times over because of more remediation if they have more. Yeah, but Doug, mm -hmm. it was closed because of the mold. Brother, I hear you. But you know, you got some people just feel, oh, okay, we will close it down. Mm -hmm. And based on the work going on outside, people will think, well, the work going on inside too. And then we'll just open up and then come back and we'll find out that they were talking stuff and they really had no problem with mold. You understand? I got people out there will try a thing. Will try a thing, Gerard. And the bottom line is, it is your health. You do yes. what you gotta do. If you gotta get OSHA involved, whoever else involved, do it right. Okay? Yeah. Well, and and who knows? Maybe we could get Coach Foy to go down and protest in front of the building. What do you think? Yeah, if he wanted to do that. Okay. No, I'm, I'm just saying. I I the, the mold will come outside and attack you. Well. I don't know. That's a joke. That's a joke. I, I, don't, know, I don't know if it's that bad, but I know the last time when, when we did a walkthrough. Um, we, we, we protected the name of the building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I am not saying the building. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying we did a walkthrough last year, and it was bad. Okay? Because I messed with my sign as well in, in there. So... And since then, nobody has been in there. Now they want to try to open it up next week. Well, you know, this they, is, they got problems. This has been this has been an ongoing issue in governments and the private sector. In that, when they're looking at their bottom line and saving money and everything else, they they are quick to put you in a position where your health is being placed on the line. Well, this. And this needs to have a, I did a, a, a small um, stint with um, a company called Adcon Environmental. Did some work with them and they need to call him and have him, have him 
do the entire air conditioning system from top to bottom. Right. Okay. You know, and then the stuff inside the building needs to be de dealt with. The air needs to be scrubbed. I mean, the, the and just just to be clear, Jared. Mm -hmm. Okay, just to be clear for the public, when you have mold, you don't just call up your ordinary contractor. They come in in, in bunny suits, closing off areas with with plastic cotton so that they they can move from area to area and don't have to worry about it spreading to other areas in the process of the remediation. It is a serious undertaking. Yes. So the, the the key is as we go toward the future, you know, we got a new hospital supposed to come, we got a new department of health supposed to come and a new this supposed to come. I just hope that the pretty design outside also has a functional design in terms of air movement humidity uh, control and all of these things uh, to make sure that we just don't get ourselves with a, another um, another white elephant where we got something pretty but can't use it because of issues like mold you know so well if you get the proper if we set the the climate control system properly in the building you will not have any uh, problems with mold. The trouble is the way the places that they put these systems is where we get mold from. Okay, because the a lot of these air condition systems collects water to run through their the on over the evaporation system to keep it cool. Okay, and sometimes it clogs. If it's not checked or maintained properly, the cloud can cause some extra moisture in the system, therefore causing mold to form and mold to grow. Well, let me let me ask let me ask this to everybody, government or private sector. Okay, if you're working in an air conditioned place, when is the last time you saw the air conditioner the air conditioning mechanic coming and and um service the system okay and i put it that way because every three months or six months you're taking your car someplace for them to change oil and do this and change filter and all of this stuff right yeah, yeah. okay so the air conditioning system is no different in that context than an automobile so where is it that you work that they have an air conditioning system that over the last year two three you ain't never see nobody come in to check the air conditioning system okay i'm being devil's advocate and angel's advocate i don't want today okay i'm, I'm multitasking today when i say that because the type of health problems that you have very often is the ones when you're done retire you're taking it home with you and they're saying well it's old age or, or it's something that prevalent in the community or this that no 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 okay and while i'm out it uh, while i'm here uh speaking about these type of things i want to give a, a shout out to my very good friend debbie christopher yeah debbie okay uh, I don't be calling you, but I can't hear from you. But that's all right. You just be safe in your travels, and give me a heal up sometime. Okay? Let, 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 let me know that you still love me. Okay? All right. <laughs> now I'm gonna say this, right? Up until a few months ago. Uh huh. You know that nice, pretty dollhouse they have up on the hill in Golden Rock. The house they um the, you, you mean the the one that they put on all the facade to make it look like a sophisticated yeah um hev um heavily architectured um extensively uh, researched and everything else to to produce this this daring <laughs> effect that people are coming here as tourists just to see yeah 
The one right up on the hill, just before you go along the five corners, off to the right hand side. You know, they they need an extensive mold remediation mm -hmm. in there as well. No way. No way? <laughs> yes way. <laughs> okay. You serious, Jay? Oh, Lordy B. They leave Frederick's because of mold remediation. I ain't going to say okay, something. Put it up and then next thing you know, we got... <laughs> No, brother, don't stop the crazy. Brother, I ain't going to say something. <laughs> brother, I wish we could it stop the crazy in this place. Yeah. 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 The crazy I ain't going to say something for people to come back after me. Without proof. I've been in there. I know what I'm talking about. This is crazy. We leave okay. Frederick's dead because of mold by a whole building. Dress up the whole building. And now that's him. You know what? It's good for them. <laughs> no, man, no, man. That's how you see. That's the thing about it <laughs> is, you know, the whole a session, the whole a meeting, and and the rest of the time there, you don't say good for them. Them is us. <laughs> well, I mean, you, I know what you mean. It's it's so, you know. And then when when they do a quality test, the uh, building manager and so trying to be secretive and don't want nobody know except the senator that he talking to. What what's going on inside it, and all this kind of crap. No. Yes, sir. But anyway, aside from all of that nonsense, right? They have air purifiers and all that thing downstairs and all over the place trying to deal with the problem. But unless you shut that building down and do some remediation, you're going to forever have that problem in there. Yeah, okay. Well, the, you come back to a, a simple a simple word begins with M that somehow or the other when we do our great works of art edifices that upstage the the, the uh, pyramids in Egypt okay mm -hmm. all right I, 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 I hear nothing about the pyramids I'm having <laughs> more in them they've <laughs> <laughs> been there quite a long time <laughs> okay so anyhow it's, it's not about bashing, it's about your health folks. Just, just the esophagus. Where, down wherever down. you work or live, just know that mold is something that have ramifications for, for, for life. Okay? Your lungs, the family, friends, anybody who's exposed to this stuff. Uh, right? And traditionally, traditionally, private sector and public sector there is always this denial or oh, you are a bad employee a troublemaker you are this or that to the other because they know that they're creating a situation and a fake on casting money to them usually right and then you have somebody who in charge who don't want to be the one to bring the bad news because they, they are usually a, 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 a medium they're not up at the top they don't want to be the one bringing the bad news so they're trying to keep everything down. Anyhow, anyhow, so much for that. So much for that. Uh, I don't want that to be part of our human nature here <laughs> in the Virgin Islands. Okay, not at all, not at all. All right. So, anyhow, lots of things going on around Saint Croix. The in in my in my hard working day, liming at the on the boardwalk the other day. One of the things you come through there, you see the stores that were there, stores that are no longer there, new stores have come in. Uh, it had a cruise ship was in, and we had some interesting encounters. And I, I want to say this, uh, when we have cruise ships and people come to Christianstead, people are coming up to us asking us about tours. And I couldn't respond to them in terms of saying, well, go to this location, that location, they have these things, da, 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 so forth and so on. So keep in mind that we here at WSTX would be happy to host you if you provide tours in Christianstead, let's say, or Frederickstead, but you provide tours. We'll be happy to host you in here on the show to talk about those tours. Now, I want you to understand, listening audience, don't make the mistake of, of 
giving us the jerk response. We need to know about that for real tourists. All right, don't 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 go there, please, 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 don't go there. How you doing? Because when line two, all right. When your family come down for the reunion and they bring all the children and others who probably never been to St. Croix and they come to St. Croix, how are they going to learn about St. Croix? They're going to have to have tours. Read a book. <laughs> Read a book. <laughs> Anyhow, line two. Uh, good morning, WSTX. Uh, blessed good morning, Senator Canton, to you and your host, and the Virgin Islands. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. I'm still waiting on that thing, or no? Listen, and I'm still looking for it, but I know I have it in thousands and thousands of pictures that I have. I put it on a, on a hard drive. Uh -huh. I ain't forget you at all. I ain't okay. forget you at all, because that what you want is something that's very dear to me, especially with the two individuals that they are in it. All okay. right, well, um, I, I, I don't... I gonna throw something on top of that. Remember, we were talking about Freedom City. Yes. In in the West, we were telling about a song. Yes. I don't remember the name, but if you come across it, pull it uh, pull it out and make sure we connect, so I could get uh, it on the station. Yeah, listen, that is that is a song dear to me and dear to a lot of us, you know. Yeah, I I know. That's what I'm saying. Perfect. Uh, Frederick said it's glory, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I, mean, I, don't care, know. I don't care what they said. Frederick said it's we, glory. We have to share it. We have to share yeah, it. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. For sure. I'm looking for it. I look, that's, that's too. That's, that's a, that's, that's, I kind of forget about the song, Doggy, but I didn't forget about your, your request your co-host asked me to look okay, for it. Okay, but okay. I'm looking for it. But listen, your co-host, he, he, you know, he needs to go work with the engineers at the Department of Education. I yeah. know they're not going to hire me that they feel, you know, I'm too aggressive. Um, but he seemed to know um, a lot about mole. As a matter of fact, Dougie, I, a lady saw me two days ago, she called me, that's the mole man. <laughs> 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 Listen, I, I have to watch the lady and laugh because I, I didn't take it as an offense, you know, because I talk about it a lot. So she said, I'm sorry, but that's how I, I, I know you. And um, Dougie, it's, it's, it's critical because right, I'm now passing, I, I just passed the Cancaria lumber yard and all of the lumber around, outside Dougie, all the lumber full of mold. All that lumber sitting outside in Cancaria lumber yard full of mold. So we know that, that what's, it, what's the program called? In vision. You know that program ain't going nowhere. Ain't going nowhere. Um, but it's critical, um, too, that I call in and talk to you because with the increased level of moisture, oh, God, and I'm parked right here next to government housing. <laughs> what is it? The able building? <laughs> now, you don't want to see the mole on the outside of this building, Doggy? Oh, well, goodness gracious, let me park, let me move from here. Well, but, it's going to get worse because the, this this global warming thing and some people say, oh, God, we are going with that, they know. You know? Well, I'm going to tell you where I'm going. The increased amount of moisture in the air. If you notice, it ain't just been hot. It's been muggy, muggy hot. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, the, the increased level of moisture is going to be um, something that's going to have a rippling effect in our schools when the children then go back. You know, the children them have been out for two months. So when they walk back into those buildings, doggy, the more going to hit them. Like it's new, but it's gonna hit them an uppercut. Watch how much children gonna come down with respiratory illnesses, and I don't want it. I don't want it, not even from my worst enemy, you know. Because no matter where I go in the world now, more sees me coming, but then more, yeah, look, she's coming right there. Come with me. <laughs> Listen, I don't, I don't have some severe adverse reaction to more, but and that's that's after being at um Department of Education, more building. For 28 years. Well, let me you know? let me say this, right? It just yeah. may, maybe maybe somebody listening, right? But um, you know this, we've been having this problem of having school nurses. Yes. Okay. Well, one of the things that a, a, a school nursing system can do is keep statistics of what people are coming for. Yes. And and so 
it's like two strikes are against us to the extent that, that there is a propensity for, for more, then who's keeping track of it? The, the doctor your child goes to, to, to bring in a slip and say that your child was sick. You know, and, and as opposed, so how do we get to a proactive way of dealing with these things? And this, this, is, this is a challenge that we continue to face because you can't just build a pretty building and then expect us to build a pretty that everything will just work. The maintenance yes. has have to, to be um, a part of the system. Yes. And I've given them suggestions, Doug, I've given them suggestions. So maybe your co-host would be, uh, they will accept your co-host easily because, you know, he's talking about the age, the age rack system and, you know, but a lot of our roofs are leaking. So even if the age rack system is, is clean, and you have the roof leaking, the moisture is on the drop ceiling, there was no air conditioner on, all it's doing is circulating all the toxins that's inside of the building, mm -hmm. you know. So say one, say two, you know, it, it's scary because um, people keep, I mean, even to Mickey saying the government ain't doing nothing, and I think since we continue to say they're not doing nothing, then they, 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 they definitely are not doing nothing because we continue to say, so why would they do anything? Well, you know, it, 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 it is sad. Well, the, the, the um, one, <laughs> one of the things that needs to be addressed is how we, how we build, whether it's commercial buildings or, or somebody building that little dream home. Because when you look, when you go into a lot of these houses, uh, uh, very often the, the roof ceiling will come down two, three, um, or more feet from the from the ceiling before you reach a window which means mm -hmm. that all the air in that building that gets hot goes up and stays in there like a pot turns upside down because yes. hot air and moisture is the, 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 the steam it goes up there and it stays in there mm -hmm. and, and then on, on the time when they have the longest days and uh, the sun is out and it doesn't cool down until like 10 o'clock at night mm -hmm. right so it, it's it's where we we're setting up there's no venting system for for that hot air and the moisture to get out of these buildings and i'm saying that because i i see it in my own house we had to come up with systems of, of of fans to make sure that on those type of days that we have the air blowing up into the sun to make sure it circulate and the moisture come out don't just get there and the walls are run down is so yes, this is so it's a health it's a health thing that you know it's 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 okay in america to kill you slow mm -hmm. you can't walk up to nobody and bust them and shot and kill them they put you in jail for that but they'll put mm -hmm. you in some place that you're being killed slowly and slowly it it, it, it it's it 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 manifests in all of these health issues in later years the toilet years when you're supposed to be enjoying life and spending more time in the hospital or otherwise uh debilitated uh from uh, not being able to travel do this that and the other because of what the accumulation over time well now i face i am allergic to 16 different molds now dougie senator canton 16. So no matter where I go, any of these 16 are wrong. And, you know, uh, Woodson had some of the most dangerous ones. And in my area, because I was at the lowest point in the school, my classroom had the highest come. But, you know, a lot of our, a lot of our government employees are almost scared to open the mouth, doggy, Senator Canton. They are scared to open the mouth. They, f they are afraid of the retaliation because of the vindictive nature of our petty politicians and petty government officials they're scared they even go to osha a lot of them file complaints but they don't put the name on the complaint so what in my opinion this is my opinion when you don't put your name on an osha complaint to me osha don't even address it and if they do address it you don't know they have addressed it because they don't know who to reply to who to reply to but with yeah. me with me senator canton i put my name on it so i got the report that they issued to the government and the citation and everything that was issued, I have it documented. You know, I'm proud of the, the members of the DMV. They stood up yesterday. I heard there was a job action because of the, the you know the hazardous conditions they are forced to work in. My colleague teachers are about to march in there. As a matter of fact, they're having orientation all this week. 
and all of them are marching right into these dilapidated buildings because uh, maybe it's because the governor promised to give them a salary increase mm -hmm. while they are turning a blind eye, but they get the better save that money, you know, because they're going to need all the money for the medical expenses they're going to incur. Yeah. You know, this is, when mold when mold is activated, it's activated by moisture. When it's activated, Senator Canton and your and your your co-host, when it's activated, it releases microtoxins, right. and these to these toxins get into your pores. Well, you, you're, not the, you could, you could, you're not the only you person I know that have this hypersensitivity to, to mold, and and the thing is, is you pointed out the the cause. The the, the we get hit two 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 ways. One, the health side of it, and two, the fact that. What would it cost them one dollar to fix up front? They're gonna end up paying five to ten to fix on, on the back end. Yes, y y yes, you follow me. So, that, that is yes. definitely something we want to have addressed, anyhow. So, I, so before I go, before uh -huh. I go, listen, you, you could put on a mask and you could go into these buildings, but we, we, the mold goes through our pores too. Right. So, it, it you know, your entire body is exposed to this doggy, and I'm glad to hear that you know, you all are touching on that issue. I'm not glad to, you know, to talk about the issue all over and over, but I want people to be safe. I want us to be more proactive. Looking at this government building, this, uh, our, I think it's our ABLE building, the ABLE building. Brother, it's none of us want to, I should say, every one of us want to have something else to talk about besides mold. Thank if you understand where I'm coming right. from, right? Yes. Okay? Yes. So I, I know it ain't like you're talking about it because you're obsessed with this thing. Okay, there are other people that I know that have hypersensitivity because they've worked in some place and, and they develop that same uh, hypersens hy uh, similar hypersensitivity. I, I know it's not in nobody's mind. Uh, well, I got I got lamb blasted. I got I got fired because I spoke about it. But Dougie, where's the monument for our heroes before I go? <laughs> <laughs> they had to take it down because of mold. <laughs> oh, took it down because of mold. Hey guys, thank you for the time, but keep talking about it maybe somebody could you know one one full basket and like i said each one reach one teach one that's right. you know every every day thank you for the guy and i'm, I'm I, I, I have the second assignment but doggy you asked me for that long ago so i'm working on it to get it to, i have it you know right. i have it and um i have it but i just got to put my hand on yeah, it because uh, i want you to play it you, i want you, you to play did you ever see the video that entry ended no i never saw the video okay what i want okay on, okay, on so YouTube. No, no, on YouTube. No, I'm just saying, on YouTube, just okay. just do a search for 1848 Emancipation. That's 1848 space Emancipation. And when, uh -huh. you, do, when you do a search, you put it in quotations. So it okay. will find those two words together, not eight, all 1848 and all Emancipations. Okay. okay. Put it in quotations. Okay. okay? I will. And Thank you, you so much check for the time. If you, you have any problems. Have a blessed day. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks all right. for the call. Take all care, right. man. Bye bye. Take care. Well, Jared, is that time, my son? Yeah, is that time? My hour son? After hour 53 minutes, I hope. <laughs> Been up. It was 57 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I wasn't listening. No, 53. <laughs> it was 7 minutes after it was 9. 7 minutes after 9. Yes. Okay, you're right. Okay, all right. Uh, Anyhow, I'm lying in you know, about my head, my, my mind intact. <laughs> in Tanoa. <laughs> <Where you talk? laughs> <Okay. laughs> you know, 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 you Tell us what it is on your mind as you go, and hopefully in the process, the discussion could lead to some solutions and some results, something positive happening. But along the way, you have your role to play also. Make sure that you do your random acts of kindness. Yes. Not just random acts. It is random acts. And then you can do some, some premeditated acts of kindness if you find yourself that bored. Okay? Do some premeditated ones too. And you know what? Um, you may want to do some sometimes for that person you can't stand. Okay? Because just imagine how empty your life would be without that person that you just can't stand. All right. <laughs>
I tell you, anyhow, see us, folks. Every, everybody, everybody, everybody deserves some degree of happiness. Of course, they have those who insist on being miserable. Mm. You know, mm. we did our part. <laughs> we did our part. All right, in the process. But folks, share the love. Because love's a need of love every day. But since my engineer tell me that I have a whole nother hour that I could extend my show on, wish you that. And as we go through the door before we uh, we get deemed trespassers by the next host, um, I, will, I will end by saying this. If you're working with an unlicensed firearm, turn it into the police. Amen. Put down the guns. Stop killing one another. Stop killing us. Well, us. Yeah. But the young people, people. In the end, no favor. But you look at the young people killing one another. I mean, that's a whole generation that's not going to be here mm -hmm. because of gun violence, foolishness, whatever. Well, I, on, on um, that note, I want to, to big up the, the um, police department for their cold case outreach and the shows that they have been doing because you know it's like out of sight out of mind mm -hmm. these things happen time pass and everybody forget except of course the immediate family and those people who are impacted all right, right. so i i really want to 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 big them up on that in particular of course there are other things out there that they that they're doing well uh i look forward to the to the uh inconvenience of more roadway inspections and stops okay and um of course you know if somebody got a lighting walking and get him a warning let it go and fix it okay i mean talking about giving people ticket like that all right but i am just saying that i see a lot of things going on on the road that that is probably one of the uh low hanging fruit ways that you can probably nip some things in the butt in the process okay yeah, definitely. I, I, I will endure that inconvenience just like going through with the TSA if they're going to keep me safe <laughs> <laughs> and land in one piece. Okay? All right. Today good thing. chewing gum for you. Tomorrow, no chewing gum for nobody. The, the TSA. Oh. All right. Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to, I'm going to go to my, uh, my main stay here, human nature. I'm going to let human nature take over until our engineer comes in and he and evicts us here in the process just just want to keep it just want to keep it positive okay so here we go folks Music variety. This is AM 970 WSDX. This is Dr. Umar East Baku. They join me in St. Croix, U.S. Virgin Islands, August 26th, Saturday, for the Ethiopian World Federation's 86th anniversary celebration. It's going down. Additional keynote speaker Ras Lazarus from out of America. Musical performance by VI Fire Band with Excalibur, Icarus, and, and Kaya. Kaya. Musical Kaya. selections by Alkebulan Empress Sound, Longside Song Supreme, Poetry, African Drumming and Dance, and more. At the Agricultural Fairgrounds. See you there. 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 At Doctors Choice Pharmacy, we know money is tight. Sometimes that means choosing between your medication or groceries. When you transfer your prescription to Doctors Choice, we will give you $25 towards your groceries so you won't have to choose.